Oh, there he goes. Morning everyone, welcome back to Mainly Outdoors. Today we're heading back out into the North Main Woods in order to do some grouse hunting. Yesterday went great, the spot that we're going to is a hot spot for grouse this season. There's all kinds of them around there and there's no one hunting them, so it's a perfect place to go. And today I plan to go right back there in order to get a few more. Now this morning we are gonna do one thing different. Yesterday I got out there, walked around for about a half hour and we didn't see any grouse and that's because grouse get up with the sun. You know, they stay sheltered in all night long, and once the sun comes up and hits them, they warm up a little bit, they start thinking about getting some food, going to the road, getting some gravel. If you start too early, you're not gonna see that many grouse. So anyway, uh, I, think, I think by the time we get out there, we should be good. So I'm gonna start driving down the road. We got a little ways to go, but I think we're in for an awesome day of grouse hunting. Once again, they had no time to oh, stop. Oh, there's two. But it's clear that the site... This might be a short day, guys. That other one is out over there. I'm gonna move my truck out of the road and see if we can grab him. Yeah, I bet you I can find that other bird. It's nice to get one bird to start the day. Just a youngster. Big clutches this year, so a lot of young birds around. Now I do think I can get that other bird, so I'm gonna try to do that, but I just wanna get my truck out of the road. This is a main travel road, which normally you don't see as many birds on, but it doesn't mean you won't, especially in years where we have high numbers of birds like this year. All right, let's just duck right here. We'll just take a quick poke. I hate to close out my day early, but you know, the goal is to get some grouse. I think I know where this other one is. It looks like he flew right back up to where they might have been roosting. Somewhere right in there. Off with the sun at my eyes, but I'm, oh, there he goes. Shoot. You didn't go far at all. That, was a, that would have been an easy shot. I couldn't see a thing with the sun in my eyes, but hey, we, at least we came in and gave it a try. Starting off the day with some success. We got this youngster. This is definitely this year's grouse. They, they had another successful year, so we have a young clutch. 
along with the older one. The sun was just hitting this upper ridge and I think, uh, I think they were roosting back here. The sun hit them, came out to the road to feed and unfortunately they ran into me first. The other one, it was tough. I probably, if I had taken my time and looked, I could have found it. But unfortunately, it saw me first and I didn't get a good shot. But that's all right. If you guys are not familiar to Maine grouse hunting, we can have four birds in our limit. So I have one so far, leaving us three. And we're only about five minutes into our hunt, so. So saving a couple for, you know, an hour from now is gonna be all right with me. So anyway, let's continue. We'll see if we don't run into a few more grouse on the way to the spot. This right here is the ridge that I like to hunt. So we have the hardwood stands up top and then down here is the swamp with all the cedar and the spruce. And right in between is really good spot. So that's where we're heading right now. Right on time this morning, the sun is just peeking up over the trees. And as we saw on the way here, that extra half hour that we gave it, the birds started to wake up. In this location, we're a little further down. So we're here at a perfect time. We got three birds to go and uh, no reason we might not, we might get it in the first stretch. I think I'm gonna start off with the one that's uh, the sunlight's touching right now. But anyway, uh, that's enough talking. Let's go out and find some grouse. So I got one, but there's one more right here. Oh, I see him. Oh, I think that's it. Uh, I kind of saw him through the trees, but there was just so much in the way, I, I thought I might wound him and him just fly off, so. Funny enough, if you watch the video from yesterday, we actually saw one grouse right here behind me. This exact spot I had stopped just because I assumed there could be a couple more. And sure enough, we had one over here along with two grouse in behind me. Only got the one, but I'll take it. 
This thick cover, I lost one in here yesterday. Very difficult to get a grouse out of here. If you're out by yourself without a dog, they don't flush until you're in the cover with them and they always run to the outside of cover and then they fly in the open so you never get a good shot. But that's all right, we got one grouse, we got two to go and we just started our walk. So we'll probably finish before we finish this stretch. So I mentioned this a lot, but whenever I'm out walking, I usually like to continue on my way, you know, not go out of my way to be super silent because I do want to make these birds nervous because once they get nervous they'll start moving their heads around they'll take a couple steps and that's when I find them I don't see many usually I hear them and then I find them so what I'll do is I'll just briskly walk along you know you want to cover some ground and just as you saw with that last one every now and then I just stop and I just look around and listen for a minute and what happens is a lot of times like that last group, I heard them clucking. So I knew there was a bunch in there because they're communicating with each other. Uh, but that gave them away. But what can also happen is the moment you take a step, <laughs> they'll either start running or they'll fly away. You know, their best defense is sitting still. If they sit still, I, I'll walk right by them. But if they take a step or make any sort of movement, that's, that's when I'll find them. Especially with these crunchy leaves, you know. They take a couple steps through here. There's, there's no getting away with it. So we'll continue up this road just till I reach the top of it. That's pretty much all I do here. Oh. I think I just ended our day. <laughs> pretty sure I just got two in one shot. In fact, I did. We got, wow, I didn't even know there was two. We got the one. Apparently it's a good thing I didn't shoot two back there because we got, this was completely unintentional. I got this one here. This is the one I saw and it was a pretty far shot for my 20 gauge, which means our spread was pretty big. And we happened to get this one as well. Wow, that's rare. I've only done that a few times in my life. Save some money on ammo today. And there we go. That is a daily limit. And if that little knoll was right, not right there, you could still see my pickup. I hear more grouse in there. Very tempting, but that's it for me. I guess that's a wrap for today. We just got two birds in one shot and that concludes our limit of four grouse so um i almost feel a little bit robbed i hardly got into today's hunt at all the sun is still just coming up i've been spot for 10 minutes and we got three birds anyway what a fantastic hunt uh, this season of grouse has been incredible there literally are grouse around every single corner when you go to the right spots. But next year, I will be guiding for grouse, so if you wanna come out and join me on a hunt, you can visit my website. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little hunt. If you wanna see more hunts just like it, make sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you in the next one.